Let's talk about space. Space is the distance between, around, above, or below things. And when we talk about artwork and we want to make things look like they have space and they're near or far, there's a couple things that we could do. So we can make objects big and small. So things that are far away are really small and things that are closer are really big. And I'll show you some examples in a minute. Then we could also use a horizon line. A horizon line separates the sky from the land. And we could learn about the word landscape. So a landscape is a painting, a photograph, or any other work of art that shows scenery like mountains and valleys and trees and rivers and forests. There's usually a sky in the scene, but it uses, when you create it, the ideas of big and small and a horizon line. And if you remember back to kindergarten, overlapping too. So in the top box, I want you to think of things you might find in a landscape. You could draw it or you can try writing the word. What are all different things you can see in a landscape? And a landscape is what you see when you look outside. If you're stuck for some ideas, I have a whole list for you in your binder. You could have trees and bushes, suns and clouds and moons and stars. You could do rain and snow, rivers and lakes and streams, planes and trains, animals and insects, roads. You could do hot air balloons. You could do houses and schools and buildings. There's all different ideas, but there's a lot more that you can do. So let's look back here. So come up with all these different ideas. And then I want you to create your own landscape. So I'm gonna assess that you know how to do this. And I wanna know that you can identify near and far. So you're gonna draw a landscape. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a horizon line. And that's gonna separate the sky which is anything above it from the land, which is anything below it. And I want you to draw objects that are big and small to help show space. So to draw objects big and small, so let's do a house. If I was to do a house and I want it to look like it's close, I would draw it really big. And then later you're also gonna learn you would draw it near the bottom of your paper. But if I want it to look really far away, I'm gonna make it a lot smaller and things that are far away are really close to your horizon line. If I was to draw a tree, I would draw a big tree near the bottom of your paper. If I wanted to look farther away, I would draw a smaller tree all the way back here. But I want you to have some fun and create your own landscape, but I want you to make sure that you have a horizon line and I want you to make objects look big and small so that you can show me that you understand space. And I hope you have fun drawing objects that show distance in your artwork.